nation. Well, let's get more on the situation that we find ourselves in regarding COVID-19 right now. Joining me live here on LBC News is Lord Treesman, who was uh, part of the government of Tony Blair and sat on the COBRA committee during the bird flu pandemic. Uh, thank you very much for joining us here on LBC News, Lord Treesman. Uh, we've been hearing lots uh, that we really are in um, some, some very dire times, some very um, worrying times regarding coronavirus at the moment. What's your assessment of where we are, where we find ourselves as a country? Oh, well, first, can I wish you a happy new year and, uh, and your listeners a very happy new year? Um, it uh, doesn't feel like it's a very happy new year, of course, for all the reasons you've just described. I think that we've got um, a, a virus that is out of control. I don't think people are doing what they should be doing. I think that the comments from inside the health service about uh, people taking massive risks with their own health, with the health of the uh, people close to them. And I think that it may be that there's a, a feeling that uh, because vaccines are now becoming available, it will all somehow look after itself. And it doesn't. Uh, it will take a long time for the vaccines uh, the various vaccines to roll out. Uh, some of the plans for their use are untested. And uh, as you were saying, we have uh, over 1,300 people dying. Now, that is absolutely um, massive. It is an extraordinary phenomenon. If you could think about it in any other circumstances, that 1,300 Brits were dying uh, every day, there would be uh, a huge, massive uh, government response to it. So I think that the watchwords of, uh, of care, getting the vaccines going, but also getting the other medicines in to treat people who uh, quite possibly with other medicines would not die. Those are the vital things. What do you think of the uh, strength of the lockdown that's been implemented in England? Obviously, uh, there are also lockdowns in other parts of the UK, but we have been hearing some suggestion that the lockdown is not strong enough. What's, what's your view? Well, I'm, I'm quite sure that that's right. Uh, when people think of the first lockdown, it's true that uh, everybody seemed to try to manage with it, not uh, not so with overwhelming success. There were a number of people who uh, were in households which were not uh, all that safe. There were a number of kids who couldn't access education fully and properly, but it was, broadly speaking, as I'm sure you'll remember, it was obeyed. Uh, this time we get to it with so many different bits of advice about what you can and can't do that I suspect a lot of people who don't really like the idea of lockdown will find some sort of an excuse not to obey it. We should be, uh, we've always been behind the game in this. We've consistently, as a country, taken decisions too late. That would not have happened in COBRA uh, in the time that I was involved. But we've taken decisions too late. That's caused great risk. And when we've taken the decisions, they've been part of the decision and not all of the decision that's needed. The scientists have been completely clear. We need to have a stringent lockdown and it needs to be like the first one. Given where we are, um, we obviously have had the, the new lockdown in England imposed just in the last week. It's going to take some time for the effect of that to be felt. Are you concerned about where we're going to be ending up in a week, two weeks, three weeks' time from now? Well, I, I am. I think that um, there's always a time delay in these things because we, we, we know that before a number of the symptoms become manifest, uh, it takes um, approximately 10 days to two weeks. And we also know that in the period directly before Christmas, although young people, including children at school, were becoming infected in significant numbers at school, uh, we didn't take the sorts of decisions they've taken in other countries. One, to, unfortunately, but one, to close the schools. Two, to insist that if they were open, people, however inconvenient, the pupils and everybody else wore face masks in the classrooms as well as in the corridors. And uh, a lot of those kids, not their fault in any respect, but a lot of those kids went home to their own families, to their grandparents, their parents, and the uh, contagion spread. Now, I, I think that, that we will see uh, a continuing increase. Some of us are working very, very hard to see if we can get medicines into this country which seem to have an impact on the disease when you have it. And we must all of us hope 
that there is uh, there is much much more success with getting the vaccines round and with things like um, like identifying who's got the illness and and uh, tracking the illness because if we don't do those things which we promised ourselves we would do months ago if we don't do those things then the vaccines will be a lot less effective as well and um, and so we will we're kind of living out i think a self-fulfilling prophecy at the moment and uh, it's, it's a pretty dire one and uh, we have been hearing in the last half hour that the queen and duke of edinburgh have received their covid19 vaccinations uh, what's your reaction to the news that that has been released that information well, f first, I'm delighted that they have. I, I'm, you know, I, like uh, everybody, I would want them to be safe and well. And secondly, I think that although they do not normally comment on, on medical procedures that uh, they're, they're going through, this will tell people that right at the level of the head of state, a very, very highly respected and uh, influential couple in every respect, uh, that they are willing to take the vaccine, that there isn't any of this anxiety or denial that the vaccine is needed or that it will uh, work and and it's a great example to the rest of us lord treesman a part of the government of tony blair and someone who sat on the cobra committee during the bird flu pandemic thank you very much for joining us here on lbc news this afternoon 331 right now